Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Scratch Programming and now we are in lesson 6 and uh, in this lesson uh, we will learn how to create a simple game in Scratch. So well, uh, I'm Dao Benjo from Jamblin Center School. So to begin with, uh, to create a simple game we have to know three things. The first one is events block and then the uh, second one is sensing block and the uh, third one is control statement. So using these three blocks we are going to create a simple game. These three blocks if I explain with the uh, snake game, so everyone is familiar about the snake game. So what is events? How this events is happening in the snake game? When we are pressing a navigation key, when we press right arrow, the snake is moving right. That means some action is happening. So this one is an event. So regarding sensing, like when our snake game touches the coin, that means something is happening there. That means this one is sensing because our is sensing a touch of coin. And regarding control blow, so when snake touches a coin, that means our score gets updated. That means this one is a condition. And next thing is, if snake touches his own body, then snake game gets over. So these are the actually conditions, and these conditions can be applied to control blocks. Basically, these three blocks are very very important while we are creating a game. So let's start with uh, our Scratch program. So I will open my Scratch. Uh, now we will try to create a simple game, a mouse game, where mouse try to eat uh, bread. So we will try to use all the three blocks, events block, sensing block and uh, control block to create this game. Firstly, I will insert a sprite here, a mouse. So go and search for mouse. And then I have inserted a mouse here. So till data, whenever we are triggering our game, or any events we are using this green flag event so we are now going to use a different event so for that I will use a key event for that I have to use when key is pressed so when arrow is clicked I want my mouse to move right so for that first thing is I need to set a position so for that I want to point my mouse to direction 90 currently this mouse is pointing towards 90 you can you can see this from the direction and when this right arrow is clicked my mouse will point towards 90 degree and I want to move 10 step so if I check you can see that when I press right key my mouse start to move 10 step so similarly I will use for other three nav navigation keys so for that I will duplicate this and I will change this to left arrow and when I press a left key I want to change my mouse to negative 90 and I want to move backward 10 step so you can check so I'm pressing a left key now my mouse is moving towards left 10 step and we can also do the similar thing with the uh, upward key and downward key so I will just duplicate this block and I will place it here and I will change this right arrow to upward key and then I will change the direction of the mouse towards zero so that my mouse will face upward and and it will move upward 10 step so let's check it so now you see that my mouse is moving up and when I press right key my mouse is moving towards right and when I press left key my mouse is moving towards left and nothing is happening when I press a downward arrow so we have to apply the same thing for the downward arrow so I will duplicate this block of code and I will change this upward arrow to downward arrow and then I will change the direction of the mouse towards 180 and uh, now it should work fine so now I'm pressing a downward arrow and my mouse is coming towards down by 10 step and when I press right key my mouse is moving towards right and when I press left key my mouse is moving towards left now we are done with the mouse so now I am going to place another object here another sprite that is a braid so for that I have to insert a braid so I will search a braid here and I will insert this and I will place this braid somewhere here now I am going to apply a sensing and some condition here when my mouse touches a braid then my braid should hide for some time that I need to write some code so for that 
I, I will use a green flag event so when this green flag is clicked so initially when my game get triggered I want this spread code to get triggered I will use some sensing so for that I will go to the sensing block and I will use this touch so that when my mouse touches a bridge so for that I have to use a mouse to apply these conditions we have to use a control statement so for that you need to go to the control block and you can use if conditions so if my mouse touches a bridge then it has to do something else so for that I have to pass some statement here to hide a bridge when mouse touches it so for I can use a loop block and I will go and search for height I will make a braid to height for some time so I need to put some uh, weight statement so for that I can go to the control and once it get hidden for some time after one second I want my braid to reappear again so for that I can again use a show button from looks so I will use a show here so now what's happening is so you see that if I start a game my mouse get hidden for some times and again it's reappearing so I want this thing this code to run forever so for that I have to use forever control block so I will put this and I want these conditions to run forever until and unless I stop a game so I can put this block of code inside a forever block so now not only this I also want to broadcast some message that uh, I'm eaten by a rat so for that I may even broadcast a message I can use an event and I may use this block this one is a broadcast message so before the bread gets hidden I want to broadcast a message so you may pass some message so maybe I will write here eaten and click OK now we are done with the uh, sensing and control statement now let's try to run our code so you see that our mouse code is also ready and our braid code is also ready and now I'm starting a game so so when I'm placing a green flag my braid code gets activated where I have included a sensing and control statement so now when I press a right arrow my mouse is moving towards right and when I press upward arrow my mouse is moving up now when I touch a braid it's getting hidden for some times that means Braid is sensing a touch of a mouse and it's getting hidden for one second. It's again reappearing. So this is how a control block sensing and uh, key press events is happening. So basically I need to improve this game with some like uh, similar to a maze game. I can uh, customize, I can customize a backdrop. So for that uh, I want to draw my own, I want to pan my own backdrop. So I want to create some path so for that I want to draw a line if you want to draw a straight line you may press shift you will be able to draw a straight line so this is the one and now I mean I may do the same thing I want to keep it till here so now I want to go to the code section and I want to resize my red so I, I will change it to around 30 and I, I want to keep my bread in the center so now let's play our game so for that I have to trigger my game and I'm making it fully screen so now I'm I'm searching for a bread so when I press upward key it's moving up and when I press left arrow is coming towards left and so I'm towards the braid and when I touch the braid it gets hidden for some times so basically this is a basic idea on how to apply all those events, control blocks and sensing blocks mm -hmm.